All right. Getting back to a subject near and dear to my heart. Women. Actually, I'm pretty fond of humanity. And I do think ladies are special. I'm old-fashioned that way. In a modern, old-fashioned kind of way. <clears throat> All right, the spiritual aspect. <clears throat> the sacred text of the glorious Quran and the history of early of early Muslims bear witness to the fact that women are considered as vital to life as men. So you guys figured it out too. <laughs> Good for you. Pretty obvious huh, to most of us. <clears throat> Islam refuted the idea that Eve tempted Adam to disobey God and thus caused his downfall. The Quran says that they both disobeyed. I guess that's progress. Still involves a talking snake. And no, it wasn't the devil, even though they say that in the New Testament. Thousands of years later, or at least centuries later. And negates the idea that women are the source of evil. Now get cracking on Pandora. Is a... Uh... In a world where women were no more than objects of sexual gratification for men, and at a time when the religious circles argued over whether women were human or not, but they were just arguing if they had souls. I guess they're catching up to the rest of us guys. Fully human. How about that? Yeah. Full, uh, let me start that over again. In a world where women were no more than sexual, the objects of sexual gratification for men, and at a time when the religious circles argued over whether women were human or not, possessing souls, Islam proclaimed, O oh mankind, we created you from a single pair of male and female. That's Surah 4913. <sighs> Men and women are of the same family and as such have similar rights and duties. And their Lord promises them in the glorious Quran, never will I waste the work of a worker among you, whether male or female, and one of you being from the other. So get to work. <laughs> and that's uh, Surah 3, verse 195. He does run on. <clears throat> Thus, in the Islamic tradition, a woman has an independent identity. No, really? I guess you call that progress. She is a responsible being in her own right and carries the burden of her moral and spiritual obligations. And that's it for that section. Just in time, they're starting the motorcycles back up again. Glad they're having fun. Let me know if you learned anything. Uh, women do have souls and individual personalities. I know it's shocking, but it turns out to be true. And the Quran figured it out finally, too.
That's nice. To be continued.